This is Charlie Van Dyke. Dave Ambrose had a dream. Like many others, he longed to be a man behind the mic at the Mighty 1190, the radio station he grew up with in Dallas-Fort Worth. Following in the footsteps of his brother Mike, he entered the broadcasting world at WACO in 1963, securing the all-night show, but he would not be there long. He was off to the Texas Panhandle at Amarillo in no time, and then the bright lights of Sin City caught his attention. And for three years in the swinging 60s, Dave owned the airwaves in Las Vegas at KENO. But his big break came in 1967, when Gordon McClendon's KLIF came calling. And it was back to Big D for Dave, who assumed the all-night show on Big Cliff. The brass saw something in him, and despite the dreaded drag an all-night show can place on a person, encouraged him to be seen during the day. And that paid off in just a matter of months. Dave was moved to the 9 a.m. to noon shift and stayed there for an impressive 10 years. In addition to his midday duties, not once, but twice he oversaw the programming department and led the station to impressive double-digit victories, according to the Hooper survey, sometimes exceeding a 30 share of the market. While today's radio is accused of doing much on the cheap, Gordon McClendon's flagship station also challenged their personnel to come up with amazing, new, innovative radio contests and promotions that had never been done before, and most with no budget. During Dave's tenure, there were hundreds. Funny, the ones most memorable to him were not the successes, but the horrendous failures. Like the time KLIF gave away a brand new motorhome. But it wasn't exactly as new as the one the dealer delivered to the winner. KLIF was sued. The biggest prize in radio history was a railroad car. But just where would a listener put it? That's what the Texas Railroad Commission inquiry asked. KLIF gave away a private island. But it was small enough to fit in a fish tank. The World Map Company was enlisted to help end the dispute. The winner walked away with a cash prize and a promise to never discuss the matter again. Then there was the famous low-altitude balloon ride over Dallas. That resulted in a few scrapes, a fender bender or two, and the destruction of a prized bird bath belonging to one longtime resident of Pleasant Grove. The FAA's jurisdiction took precedence over the Audubon Society in that mishap. After retiring from radio, Dave settled into construction and general contracting until the lure of his seaside getaway became his permanent address. Now he spends his days enjoying the surfside sunrise and sunset at beautiful Port Aransas along the Texas Gulf Coast. Dave could not be with us today, but wanted to express his thanks to voting members, former colleagues, friends, family, and fans for this honor today. Dave Ambrose, a 2018 inductee of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame.